One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the What's up everyone, it's uh, Tom Lizzo here. Uh, I hope you guys had a great weekend, also great trading week this week. Uh, I mean, you know, uh, the market this week, it's just been, you know, like crazy. I mean, it, it was like, you know, it's uh, it's been crazy in general in 2021, uh, as, as you can see, you know, from all those diamond hands <laughs> or like Wall Street, uh, you know, kind of bets, uh, those sectors, GME, AMC, it's it, you know like the actions that we are getting daily it's just like you know phenomenal uh the all all the runners and you know like we have so many runners to kind of choose from uh daily and also the range is really why i mean you can easily make that money if you know what to do you know even with small size this is exactly what Alex talked about in his youtube video and i mean his max size was like 2000 or something but it was a uh, be able to make that uh, you know 40k on last friday and also 150k or some something like that uh for for that week so you know it's really you know being rewarding for those who knows how to trade but you know for those who don't i mean you know uh you know you know probably the end game of those uh, people right uh you know holding the bag thinking it's gonna go to the moon but in fact <laughs> you know it, you know it doesn't go anywhere so but we are in MIC, we know exactly what to do. Mm, and that's why, you know, we're trying to focus on our process, like, uh, you know, on our edge, you know, to uh, to do it better uh, kind of daily. So today, the purpose of this video, or like, you know, my goal today is I want to kind of go over two of my best trades uh, this week. And uh, I think there are some few good lessons that I think you guys can take from this. Uh, so that's why, uh, I'm trying to kind of emphasize on those uh, today. So, uh, you know, I hope it's helpful as always. And uh, yeah, let's get on to this. I'm going to bring up some chart. Right. So, uh, first of all, on this one, Lizzie, right? Lizzie stock. I mean, uh, we've been talking about this. Uh, for the last, I don't know how many days, one, two, three, you know, four days, right? And you guys notice uh, that I didn't touch it at all, right? I didn't even have my chart, uh, you know, posted in the main chat uh, because, excuse me, because, uh, you know, I didn't touch it at all be because it was all on front side and for me, I have no edge I mean kind of showing this right and as you can see every time we try to go below view app it couldn't break that support and then the next day you know gap up the next day you know break this pre-market high again and went higher next day same thing here break this previous high so every time it kind of breaks this previous high or like the high pre-market that's to me is it's not a short anymore right so how can you be able to kind of trade those for me the only way i can trade those is the moment it went red on that day so friday i think alex mentioned this you know in his youtube video and i think amin uh kind of mentioned in main chat i think uh dude really nailed it uh uh and yeah so uh 14 49 1449 I could say uh, let's say 1450 yeah so yeah pretty spot on here so this is the previous close which is the red to green line right I know that the moment you know start went below this like going to red likely all those people that are who are long in the stock they're gonna panic and then they're gonna dump it right they're gonna sell it so for me, the only thesis for me was to trade this, uh, you know, the moment it went red and that's it. You know, I'm not going to touch it if it doesn't go red, uh, goes red. So, you know, it could touch here 15 and then, you know, pop back to 20 or about whatever 30. I'm not interested, right? I mean, because if you look at daily, 
plenty of meat left. One, two, three, three days, right? It start went from four to like almost 20. So, you know, do the math. I mean, the meat is still so much, and you know, there, uh, you don't have to be uh, early, right? Uh, uh, you know, the point of trading is like, it's, you know, timing is everything. So why do you have to, you know, anticipate here and when you can wait for the crack and you know this is the first red day setup that we we've been talking about in mic <coughs> for those who doesn't know uh you know the first day setup so this is the one okay guys we want to see the stock is extended enough okay to qualify as a first you know first red day a good first red day right we want it for the stock to kind of extend it way you know from this initial of run so like four all the way to 20 that's extended enough and hey guys my name is tosh bradley i'm one of the head mentors and monitors at my investing club if you have any questions about getting started in trading getting started in mic mic in general text me at 213-458-5997 this is not a robot it is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club we also have special promotions going on that i can get to you depending on your trading needs hit me up Back to the video. Also, I mean, a lot of people been asking me, or like asking in, in a in a in main chat, is that Tom? This is the first red day. I mean, guys, okay, the first red day. You really don't have to guess it, because you know that the stock's been running for the last like two or three days, and everyone was talking about it, right? Because it's so hot, chick. Everyone was focusing on it, right? And that's why it went up that high because you know. We want that extension, but also we want all the eyes, you know, to be focusing on those, right? And so if you want this to be, you know, as a true first red day, usually you don't have to guess about it because you know that everyone is looking at it. I mean, same thing, GME, AMC, right? I mean, you know, the stock, uh, you know, kind of ran for, for the last, I don't know, three or four, five, six days, right? And everyone was talking about it. Everyone was chasing it. And, you know, all the longs is trying to kind of bribe break out. Pumpers are getting in. I mean, millions of shares uh, kind of traded, you know, 100 and 200 million. I mean, this is so crowded stocks. And also, you know, it's extended enough. That's why it makes the first red day so good. Because everyone was focusing on it. So the moment the stock shift, right? All those people who anticipate or try to long or try to think it's gonna go to the moon on that day they're gonna hit that oh shit moment right okay okay so it's not doing what I thought it would do I have to get out right so we this is so basically you see this is the panic at open right big panic here the moment it went to this line I right, slam from this candle Bounce back a little bit and straight down. I think halted it here and it went straight down to 11. I, I took uh, one of the tray. Um, yeah, I forgot to put it on a chart, but it was like 13 something. And I covered 12, but it was like, you know, a dollar. Like instantly, I think it was less than even than a minute or so. I mean, so that was pretty good. But uh, I want to show you my chart on this. Hang on one sec. So this is my chart on Lizzie <coughs> in the afternoon, more like it. Uh, yeah, so you can see here. Oh, uh, I took this 13 line, okay. I took this 13 line because, uh, as you can see here, uh, the stock popped back to that 13 uh, or like a 50. Uh, it kind of popped back into this line 13 right <clears throat> on that so I kind of waited for it to kind of top out or like you know or like uh, t telling me you know so to see uh, which one is uh, like the good resistance uh, because uh, you know who knows right I mean SSR was on it uh, it might trap and it goes uh, over uh, kind of view app and I mean uh, you know realistically like the good lines to me is more like you know 
uh, this pivot uh, 1367 and also uh, the red to green line I want to you know my entry to be as close to that as false uh, you know as possible right so I, I kind of waited I didn't short into this one because I'm not sure if the stock is gonna reclaim view app or not so I, I want to see the stock giving me some sort of information before you know I form my bias or like thesis right but I know you know the thesis on this this is the first red day likely every pop will meet you know the sellers or like the baggies from the past few days like they're gonna sell right but I just want to kind of time in my entry right so you know so I can have a good risk and reward so on this one kind of pop to that 13 line fails right so that's been telling me okay so 13 line that's good line and I don't have to uh, kind of wait it for that uh, 14 or whatever 14.5 here so that's why I went in on here I think this was like a you know small size uh, um, you know because uh, you know on that day I was focusing on a ACG I'm, I'm gonna show you guys uh, that in a little bit uh, but on this one a 13 line and cover some here I got another one here I mean on this entry was pretty spot-on because why I'm gonna tell you a secret here guys okay so uh, 1320 line but I saw on a level 2 I think there was like uh, you know uh, 1320 something like 20 or like 21 there's like you know bunch of sellers like you know a lot of shares I think 100 or like uh, you know 200,000 shares something like that so uh, I put my fantasy you know out like 13 uh, 17 and I keep my mind okay so I can use really size here okay with uh, with that the like uh, with the backstop kind of uh, kind of play right because I was risking only literally like four or five cents and because I saw a big seller the big ass on that so I really throw up you know it, it's it's not like you know a big size but uh, for example if I was you know let's say hypothetically if I was training is like you know 500 shares or you know 1000 shares or whatever I would go into this bullet maybe like you know three or four thousand something like that you know it's just this is has nothing to do with my size here but the concept is that when I saw something that it's it's really been tight risk right I can use like you know 50 percent of my size or like 70 percent of my size instead of you know 10 or 20 percent right because you know I have a tight risk in mind I, I want to use that 1320 as my backstop so I would probably stop out maybe 1330 something like that and uh, that was a you know pretty big seller uh, so the moment it kind of got there it's, it's, it's kind of you know uh, been rejecting that so I know that was uh, you know pretty good so that's why I went in uh, with uh, a little bit more size and this uh, first kind of initial bullet so I got in here you know really tight stop and it's you know after that it's just ending up like you know this was the top and I ended up fading so I cover here some support cover here some support on this one and uh, yeah so uh, I see you guys uh, on next one okay guys take care Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.